Greg Kazoo, ProNosePhoto.com. A while back, someone had asked me to do a video on my dual screen setup that I use and how to use those features in Lightroom. Now, you don't necessarily need to have two screens. Well, you actually, you kind of have to have two screens in order to do this, but you can either have two monitors hooked up to your computer to use this, or you can also have a projector and use this quite well. And that's actually what I will do. Now, my right hand monitor over here is the normal window for Lightroom. All right, you see the tabs that are here and all that good stuff. So those are there. Now this one over here on the left side, that's my secondary display. Now the secondary display, the easiest way to turn it on uh, is very similar to the normal shortcut that I use, uh, which is the grid view shortcut. So if I would, was developing this image, I don't know why it's taking, there it is, okay. So if I was developing this image, I can hit G to go back to the grid view. Now you'll see over here, it still has that one big photo because I'm in the survey view. And I'm going to go over each of those four. Uh, but Shift and G will then bring up the different mode. Just like if I had, uh, if I go back to grid view over here, G brings up the grid view on my right monitor. Okay, and I select a few. I can cycle through Shift and G for grid in the left. Shift and N for survey, Shift and C for compare, and then I can hit enter on a photo. Oops, should be Shift enter. Nope, what is it? There's one more shortcut here. Secondary display. Oh, Shift and E, that's it. Shift and E will bring up a single photo big. Now, one thing that's quirky that you'll need to get used to, which I totally don't understand, is why I can't lock the secondary display in a grid view. That, to me, it would be really nice, because I always accidentally hit the G to grid when I'm using that dual, the, the dual screen thing. Um, a lot of times when I am doing dual screen and I'm showing both of them, I'll actually be developing one of the photos. And then I select another one to go and grab it and start editing it, editing it. And then I go to the next and edit it. And so uh, then I can also select a couple photos to sync my settings. And that's a great way to work when you have two monitors. It saves so much time rather than jumping back and forth. It also gives you more screen real estate rather than using the little thumbnail view that's down here I like it a lot better since I have all that real estate I have a 24, a 22 and a, a 19 inch monitor hooked up to my PC uh, which I built myself yes it's a PC no it is not a Mac so back to over here we have our grid view again I wish it would lock maybe in Lightroom 4 if I make a big enough stink of it they'll give me the option but speaking of locking, we can go into the loop view. Now there's three different modes here. Normal is it will change when I click a photo. Okay, it's gonna change in that left menu. In live mode, it's gonna change as I hover over a photo. Okay, and then in lock mode, it's going to lock that first photo and that's it. Okay? So that's how that works. Next step down here in the corner, uh, you can, in the grid view, change your thumbnail size. You can choose your collections here. Uh, in your loop view, you change your zoom. In your compare, uh, you can switch them back and forth just like you would over here in your compare mode okay same buttons do the same things and then in survey mode you can still do the same things uh, which are get rid of images that kind of thing especially when you're in grid over here okay and then you can get rid of them and select your final image very quickly 
Now, the way I will use this a lot, especially with clients when I'm working with my projector, at my office I have a 150 inch screen, I think it is, with a projector. And so I will project this secondary display up on the screen. That's really all they need to see, all the client needs to see is right here, that final image. If we were comparing two photos, we can then bring them up and show them. But realistically, they don't need to see the metadata, the keywords, the develop. When we're actually in the develop module, they don't need to see how I'm making changes. So there's, they just need to see that this photo, all of a sudden, is now black and white as they've requested. Oops, I need to go back to normal mode there is now black and white as they've requested. They don't need to see, you know, all the little buttons and this and that and the other thing that, that goes on in order to do it. So keep that in mind as you're, uh, if you would happen to have a projector or a second screen, try it out, see if you like it. Now, final thoughts here. Window, secondary display, you can hit show, and then choose full screen or not. Right now I have full screen off just for recording this video. Typically though I would have this left window in full screen as well as, I'm sorry, the right window, the main window, as well as the secondary display in full screen. So um, again, it's just for purposes of recording this video that I do not. So uh, secondary display, full screen, you can hit F11, uh, Shift F11. The way I usually turn it on is by going to the grid view and hitting Shift and G uh, or Shift and N as survey. And again, the N, G, E, C, N, all of those are normal shortcuts that you would use with a single window. Just by adding Shift, they're then being applied to the secondary window. All right, I think that is everything that... Uh, that really needs to be going over. I think I've exhausted that subject. And uh, so if you have more questions, comments, uh, I, you know what I'd love to know? How many of you guys have dual monitors? Do you have projectors at your office or somewhere or clients or something like that that you've used in the past? Let me know how that works, what your setup is like. And if you had a question about optimizing that, I'd love to hear it. Greg Cazillo. Pro knows photo.com. See ya.